All right, let's get into a reading, Pisces. I don't know why, but I feel the need to see who's keeping tabs on you, who's watching you, who's talking about you, who's doing all the little things where they're nosy as hell. Because when I started thinking about it, I heard nosy as people. So you can have a lot of people that's just nosy when it comes to you. What are you up to? What are you doing? There, One person could be someone who's impulsive. It could be a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. This could be someone who's inconsistent or impulsive. That's keeping tabs on you or keeping eyes on you. Someone that could be wanting to come back around. Or this could be someone you learned a lesson over. So some of you, you got a Virgo watching you. Friend, family member, lover, whatever. That could be thinking about you. You could feel like you learned a lesson with this person. You could feel like this person was a player. They were inconsistent. They come in, but they're just as quick to leave. You've done self-reflection on this person, but I feel like this person could be doing self-reflection on you. They could feel like you're successful and victorious and that you're a hard worker. There could also be someone else keeping eyes on you. Someone that's feeling consumed by some sort of confusion. This could be someone who's really attracted to you and you're attracted to them. But you had to turn your back because you felt like this person either wouldn't give you new emotional experiences or would not offer a new beginning in love. So you were like, okay, another one bites the dust. It is what it is. Okay, let's see what else is happening. Oh my God, whoever this Virgo is, they're the kind of person that will step on some toes quick and they could be burdened by that. They could be regretting some sort of leap or risk that they took. Again, this could be a friend. This could be a friend who showed up in a way where they now regret it because they could have been selfish. They could have said something that was not kind, was not fair, was not right. There was a leap or risk or something that someone did that they now regret. They're seeing that they could have been out for one and one for all they're recognizing that there was lack of success and victory in whatever they chose so if this is a friend that chose a different friend over you or a boyfriend or a girlfriend they're feeling like that was a bad choice if this was a lover who decided to take a leap and be a player and be out there wanting to play in it to win it that's all fine and games but guess who didn't win this person there's something I've learned in my short little 33 years of life. If you're out in the world thinking that you're going to prove something to people by dating someone and making it work, you're going to get your feelings hurt. At the end of the day, when you're showing up in that energy of, oh, I'm about to show y'all, you want to do this to me? Well, I'm going to do this to you. We're all going to lose in the end, okay? That's the energy I'm getting here. It's an energy of, well, I'm going to show you. You don't want to marry me, I'll find someone who will marry me. You don't want to give me what I want, I'll find someone who will give me what I want. When you show up in that very rigid, low vibrational energy, you're going to get just that. You might find someone who has the same mindset as you. Someone who's in, a, in it to win it. I don't care about nobody's feelings energy. Two people like that are not going to mesh. That's what I'm getting here. So this person could have been in the energy of, well, I'm going to do what I need to do and if your, your toes get stepped on, it's not my problem. I'm not sorry. Somebody's sorry now, okay? This person can feel like you're some sort of soulmate or twin flame. There could be someone wanting to reach out to you that also feels like you're a soulmate or twin flame. So you could have two people attached to you, viewing you in the light of you're my soulmate, okay? One of them could be feeling like it's time to reach out to you and see where this could go. I don't feel that you and this person has really explored it in depth. I see collaboration. I see teamwork. This could have been someone you worked with. This could have been someone you were friends with. This could have been someone you went to school with. This could be your brother's best friend, your sister's best friend. You know this person enough to go, yeah, we're acquaintances. We've collaborated. Like, I know their name. There could be someone like that attached to you that's thinking, oh, it might be time for me to reach out to you and see where this can go. Hit you with the, hey, how you been? Th this person feels like you're some sort of soulmate or twin flame. There's something deep here and they want to explore it. 
I'm seeing that this person could still be in an energy of being defeated around growth, but they do want to give it a shot. Okay? There's also someone else attached to your energy. Oh, baby, we got a lot of people attached to your energy. So we've got three different ones. We got one who's learning their lesson the hard way and they're regretting and wanting to come back to you. We have another where you never really explored it, but they're seeing you in kind eyes, good eyes, and they want to reach out and see where this can go. Then we have a third one. The third one is someone who's really disappointed right now. They feel like you're moving on or moving away and healing. They're feeling like they don't like that. This is someone that you brought an ending to. This is someone that you said, I can't balance this with you. So an ending is what has to take place. That person is really disappointed. They're trying to find the strength and the courage to balance this. Why is it when we love, we love, but when we fight, we fight? There's no in between. I see that this person's really curious. I see that this person's wanting a reunion, but I'm also seeing that this cycle's been completed and truth has been spoken. You don't trust this person. You don't trust who they claim to be. Your intuition tells you that this person's always hopeful, but this person could have the tendency to allow time to pass and then take that as, as a way to come back in. So this person could be a family member, a friend, or a lover. Could be a baby mama, baby daddy. It's someone who, instead of extending an apology or trying to make it work, they allow time to be a space filler, and after some time, they try to give it another shot. I'm, I'm full of hope again. Surely we can figure this out. You're at a place where you're like, mm, I don't trust you. We're done. I ended this. I balanced it since you couldn't. And I think this person's starting to swallow the fact that they might not ever get another chance to make this work. This could be the dad or the mom who, you know, maybe put you through a bad childhood. And now that you're an adult, you're just having a hard time managing this relationship because you felt that they didn't manage it when you were younger. This could be a mom or a dad who's finally recognizing you're right. It isn't your responsibility to make this work. And I'm really disappointed because I've dropped the ball and you don't care about picking the ball up anymore. You want change and transformation. You don't trust me. Even if I come in and say, this is what I'm offering, you're like, yeah, right. You've been honest with yourself. You've been honest with yourself that this person could have the tendency to get stuck on hopes, dreams, wishes, and fantasies, but that there's never truly a cycle here to be completed. And this person could be heartbroken because they know that they can't be who they need to be for a new cycle, and they know that you're done with the old cycle. So where does that leave me? So that could be the other person watching you. So let's get a little clarity on the first person. We're gonna get a little more clarity on the person who was inconsistent in and out, could have stepped on toes, could have talked to you however they felt that they should have, could have, but they could be recognizing that there's lack of success and victory here. So that person plans on coming back and trying to give to you. Just to let you know, they plan on taking a leap they're hoping that you've changed your perspective on them. They're hoping that since they've walked away and they now feel burdened and they can see their behavior clearly, that they can come in and get this to a place of peace. They're hopeful. They're hopeful. They're hoping like hell. You got a lot of hopeful people in your energy. <laughs> I heard someone say that's all they got. Yeah, so this person's going to come in very quickly. They're going to be fueled by passion. The passion is going to be, I need to fix this. I want to fix this. Red flag number one. Okay. Red flag number one. I see that this person could tell you that this recognition of who you are and what you mean to them come out of nowhere. I also see that this person's going to tell you that they could have maybe had a battle between being with you and being single. I see this person telling you that a foundation that they built has crumbled 
and that they didn't see it clearly, that it wasn't successful, but now they want to fix something or heal something with you. They've been doing a lot of deep self-reflection on the fact that they see you as someone that's above the rest. Now, here's the thing. They could see you that way based off of how you dealt with them. This person could have acted away and wanted you to respond out of character. But instead of cutting their tires, burning their clothes, you could have just disappeared. That could have this person looking at you like, wow, you're different than the rest. Why? Because I didn't cut your tires? Be careful of allowing this person back into your life because I am seeing that this person is still going to come in with a lot of passion, with a lot of lust, with a lot of intense, I want to do this, but that energy might not be long lasting, okay? Now, when they come in, they're going to tell you that they want to marry you. But there could be things that they're going to hold close to their chest that you need to know. And this could be around something that failed. A failed marriage, a failed financial status, a failed state of security. Why did they go bankrupt? Are they making bad choices? Are they bad with money? Were they not taught? Why did their marriage fail? It's like you're going to need answers to certain questions and they're not going to want to necessarily talk about all that. I think that's going to be red flag number two, okay? This could be happening within the next two days, two weeks, or two months when this person comes in, just to let you know. You're going to know who this is because they're going to come in the same way that they did last time. A lot of passion, a lot of let me make this right, let me figure this out. Do I think that they've grown and changed? Yes. Do I think they're the version of themselves that they need to be, to be with you? No. Okay, let's go to the next one who feels like this is the right opportunity to take a chance with you. So they're at a crossroads. They're feeling very pulled towards you. They feel like you're some sort of wish fulfillment. They feel like you're really almost a gallery. Okay, somebody could work in a gallery. They feel like you're very stable and grounded. They feel like you're loyal to the, to, the, to the fact that they feel that you would be a stable partner. This person feels like you're emotionally open, compassionate, loving, and giving. This person thinks really highly of you. And this person is showing up as a master of themselves. So they're showing up as an emperor or empress, which means they've mastered the sides of themselves that they needed to, to be a good partner. They know how to compromise. They know how to apologize. They know when to stand their ground. They, they know what it's gonna take to make a relationship successful and that it's not easy. And they feel like you have what it takes to match that. I can work with that. I can grow with that. I can mold that. That's how they view you. They see you as someone that they can have success and victory with. Again, recognizing you. Now, you keep showing up as queens to this person. So, you're either younger than this person or there's some sense of life lesson you still need to go through for you to mature, grow, and expand. But if that's the case, this person sees you as a diamond in the rough. That's a diamond. Regardless whether or not it's in rare form or it's ready to throw in a ring, it's a fucking diamond. And I ain't going to let someone just have it. I know what I got. Thank you, though. That's how this person views you. They're going to come in and tell you that they want some sort of major change and transformation. They're going to tell you that they were really conflicted on giving, giving to you equally because they were not ready. And it could have come off as breadcrumbing as well. And they're going to apologize for that. You're going to feel like this person is your justice. They're going to communicate to you that they have desire to pick you and to see where this can grow. And that they could have learned some sort of lesson in the past. And they want to discuss that lesson with you as well about what they want, what they believe in, what's correct for them. Here's the thing. If you've been through a relationship, whether it's a relationship that lasted two years or 10 years, you've learned something from that. I have clients who will tell me, I learned that I'm never getting married. I've learned that I'm not relationship material. I've learned that I'm never going to live with someone. I have to be married. 
we all learn something different. There is something that this person went through where they learned a hard lesson, but it also taught them where they should put their effort, their time, their dedication, where it's gonna be useful, where it's gonna be beneficial. They wanna have a conversation about either a commitment, marriage, or beliefs. So there could be differences around that. One of you might wanna get married, one of you might not. One of you might believe that you should date in a traditional way, the other one might believe that there is no method to the madness, let's just do it. There will be a discussion about that as well, okay? Now, if this person learned a lesson around something in the past, they could have felt very left out, abandoned, or rejected. They could have had to understand what took place and healed around it before they could take action, okay? So I see a conversation coming in about you guys possibly collaborating and seeing where that can go for each of you on whether or not you want to entertain this person is going to be up to you. But I see that person coming in and wanting to see where they can take it. And I see out of everyone, you would be able to grow with them. Now let's look at the last person, the one who's possibly a family member or an ex who's realizing that the cycle with you is over even though they don't want it to be. This person is still attracted to you. Now, this person could have someone else attached to, to them that has no clue that they're really disappointed over you. So, if you've got a baby mama, baby daddy, or an ex, this person could still be really disappointed about what took place with you. They could be at a place where they're not allowing their emotion, emotions to be open or involved, but, this person really loves you still. They're in love with you. So I don't care if this is a baby mama, baby daddy, they still love and care for you. The person that they're with though does not know that. That person is in kind of like a self-imposed prison. I'm what's special, they chose me. I'm the best of the best of the best. That could be valid. But I think that person doesn't know that this person still has some sort of an emotion for you. Could still spy on you, see what you're up to, try to keep tabs on you. You and that person could have separated because of their behavior though. And that could be one of the reasons they keep their eye on you is because they know that they ruined it. And that's something that they're having a hard time getting over is that they ruined what they wanted, but they can't have you because you're over it. You won't go back to what it used to be and you don't see any potential in what you want in them. You, it's like you won't even allow them to grow into that version of themselves because you don't feel like they're capable. So they've decided to go date someone else or entertain someone else, but they still think about you and they wish that they wouldn't have showed up in that way and ruined it all. They wish you were at a place where you still trusted them and wanted to, to believe that they were capable of being a stable foundation, a stable partner, but now you don't feel that way. Now I am seeing that this person, whoever is attached to your energy, they do care for this new person. They care about this new person. They care about this new person to the point where they're taking leaps on them. They're taking risks with them, but you're still in the back of their head. If their person went through their phone, you're probably on their Facebook getting looked up, Snapchat getting looked up, Google getting looked up because this person has regrets. A lot of you, this is someone you built something with and they feel they're the reason it didn't work and they're having a hard time getting over it. I know you don't want me back. I know you don't like me. You don't care about me. I've even moved on. But damn, where could we have been if I would have given this my all? They really, really regret the fact that they didn't maybe change, fight for this harder, gave up easier. For some of you, I'm telling you, this is an ex, a baby mama, baby daddy, someone you were in a relationship with, someone you were married to, someone who's now looking back. And I think it's because they're in a relationship with someone new. They understand now what it takes. And I think they're starting to look back. Why am I about to cry? And I think they're starting to look back and realize they didn't put in as much effort as they said that they did. They didn't fight for your guys' relationship. They have a lot of regrets. I wish I would have fought harder. I wish I would have tried harder. I wish I would have took you seriously when you told me you were done. That's what this person's feeling. And there's so much sadness and disappointment that I think that sadness and disappointment is pushing them to be a better partner to the person that they're with. 
but they also think about you all the time, watch you all the time. And deep down, they wish that you would take them back. I wish you would be with me again, but I know that you don't see me in that way anymore, so I have to go to someone new because you're never going to have faith in me like that again. This is really, really, really sad. Like, this breaks my heart. But you want a new beginning. You want something stable, and you're having the strength and the courage to say, listen, I'm sorry that we couldn't make it work, but it's just that. We couldn't make it work. I asked you to fight. I asked you to stand up for me. I asked you to give this family everything. And you showed me time and time and time again that you didn't want to. Okay, don't. And now this person's like, damn, I wish I would've. What'd I just say? Really sad and disappointed because this is the justice. They could feel like the person they actually match with is the one person they can't be with. So I'm going to take the next best thing. I'm going to take someone that I'm attracted to, that I have fun with. I'm going to learn how to care about them. And I might even fall in love with them. But it's going to be so different than when I was in love with you, when I fell for you. I'm going to say this. A lot of you, this person was like a first love. Because I'm getting that like deep head over heels, we've got nothing to lose, it's us against the world kind of energy. And once you go through that, your adult relationships are not always the same. There's a little more skepticism, there's a little more caution. This person misses the way that it used to be with you too, but they know that they can't get that back. Damn. All right, I'm gonna leave this here before I start squalling because that's sad. I'll see you guys tomorrow.